What's going on you guys? It's George. Welcome back to my channel. Or, welcome to my channel. We're back at it again with yet another Tommy Hilfiger thrift shopping video. You guys, I've not been to a Goodwill in a good minute. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute, actually. I know for sure this location has a lot of Tommy Hilfiger stuff. Because last time I was here, I made out like a bandit. I'm not sure if that's like the best phrase to use, but I made out really good, guys. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they have some good stuff here today. I'm going to take you guys along with me, so let's go shopping. Here we have a Scranton artifact. Some Penn State. Uh, most of them was canceled. This is the first Tommy piece I came across. Guys, yeah, I kind of regret not getting this. It's something that I really can't see myself wearing, but it's a really unique piece. And I like how the color says hill figure. We also have a Vineyard Vines vest. I know for sure these actually go for like 100 bucks. Um, the condition wasn't the greatest. There was like some stains. It was kind of gross, but um, it's cool to see Vineyard Vines at the Goodwill. We got a Loren, Ralph Loren button down. I love the coloring, guys. That blue and that yellow together. Beautiful. A Tommy Hilfiger V-neck sweater, you guys. This color, though. This color is beautiful. It's in great condition. And it's also purple ticket, which means it's half off today. I rarely say Tommy Hilfiger piece is not attractive, but this polo right here... I don't know who could pull this off, but not me. This shirt stood out to me because I feel like the texture was very unique, but that color, absolutely not. Same here, this is very obnoxious. If you like Ralph Lauren, you want to be seen, you wear this. We got a Tommy Polo as well. This one was huge. I love the color, but unfortunately it was way too big for me. These vintage luggages were pretty cool. I like the middle color, like that cream, but uh, I'm gonna use for it. And of course, I thought this was Gucci for some reason. I was like, wait, that stripe, that color, is this Gucci? What is this? And um, it's chess, checker, what do you call this game? Honestly, I have no idea. And it was made in Taiwan, so it's definitely not Gucci. Love this antique Easter piece. I have to get this. Jeffree Star uh, mirror, no thanks. And this is a pretty cool glass, so I figured I'd share with you guys. We're back, you guys. Let me tell you, that was definitely, definitely, 100% not the experience that I was hoping for, you guys. Um, there was barely anything Tommy related. There was a ton of Ralph Lauren stuff. I have a few in the, the footage from before, but barely any TH. Blows my mind. I don't know how. I don't know why, but I picked up at least two Tommy pieces I'm going to share with you guys. One of them I did not film because it was like right by the register and the people were just like giving me weird looks. I was like, oh, I'm just going to get this. Whatevs. It is a button down and it's a size large but i love this because i feel like the colors are perfect for fall and it does have the tommy logo right on the pockets it's long sleeve and it just it's in great condition this honestly is in beautiful condition i got it for 50 percent off uh because it was like 50 percent off anything tagged with the color purple so just like the salvation army they have each item colored a different color and like every day they like discount like a certain color so today it was off purple stuff luckily this was purple so i got this for three dollars and uh yeah this is this is a pretty staple piece guys i'm happy with this i feel like it's a little oversized so i'm probably gonna wear like a gray tommy just basic t-shirt underneath have this open crisp clean casual fun we love it we loves it next in the last tommy piece i picked up unfortunately is that sweater and this is a v-neck sweater which guys i normally like crew neck stuff by v-neck see how it's like a v it's not like straight across or like a normal collar this is a v-neck sweater so i just really love this color and i feel like it's a really nice preppy look uh, it's in great condition this color is kind of unique guys it's like a weird like slate blue it's not a baby blue it's not a royal blue it's like right in between it's just like a weird color blue so i appreciate it. why not and uh, this, here's the tag. This is the purple, if you can make that out from there, this is a purple little tagger right there. But this was 50% off. And I believe uh, the, the shirts, like the button down, the sweaters were like $4 and like 50 cents or something. I got, I got on footage, but they weren't cheap. 
Well, they weren't that cheap. They were cheap, but let me tell you, when I'm thrift shopping, guys, I want to spend as less as possible because I go shop in the actual stores and also department stores. So I know what the clearance rack is like. I know what sales are like. I know what coupons are like. I know all that stuff that exists out there outside of thrift stores. So you could a lot of the time get things way cheaper than secondhand. So like that's what makes me upset when I see the prices like really high, at like the Salval and Goodwill and thrift shops in general, unless you're paying for like a true vintage piece, you shouldn't be paying a lot of money at these type of places, especially, especially because they are foundation based and charity based. So, um, yeah, know that it's a good fact. So those are my Tommy pieces. I did pick up one of the piece guys. I love decorating for holidays. So of course I picked up, this is an antique. Now this, this was worth spending more than $2. You guys, this is one of those like little Easter egg racks, which I don't really like hard boiled eggs but this is gonna be beautiful to have like on my coffee station for easter time it is porcelain it is like beautifully colored two dollars and let me tell you guys my my grandma has stuff like this like handed down like from my great grandma so i know this definitely is a vintage slash antique piece probably on the antique side so i'm pretty happy about that i love anything that's like in great condition and that has like a story behind it and i don't know i don't know the story of that but i know my grandma has something very similar so i appreciate it. i'm talking so fast right now you would think that i'm running on like tons of coffee or something but let me tell you i'm actually going through coffee withdrawal starbucks withdrawal to be in fact my local starbucks here well not the local starbucks it's this couple around but the one that i was going to before i went to this lovely place was closed down so then i asked a few friends like what's going on with this starbucks like they closed like just two months ago for a while now they're closed again what's up it seems like the workers are getting sick yeah wear your mask guys sanitize take care of yourself and others please 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 if you wear your mask give this video a thumbs up but that's pretty much it guys i know this is a short vlog i know this is like our first time at a goodwill in a very long time so hopefully it didn't disappoint you guys i just want to kind of like switch things up from going to the normal thrift shops that i go to by the way if you love tommy hilfiger please subscribe to my channel i have a tommy hilfiger playlist of all of my tommy videos and guys i go to thrift stores i go to department stores i shop online tommy i go to the actual tommy stores this basically is your number one source for all tommy hilfiger finds so if you love tommy then you're gonna love this channel. Hopefully you guys stick around. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be much appreciated, goes a long way. Share this video and share the love. Also hit the notification bell because I upload videos weekly, multiple times a week. So you might as well follow me on this YouTube journey. And my Instagram is right here, at George Shiroff, if you wanna follow me on there as well. But until next time, say thanks, give compliments, and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.